everyone, this is Joe Hector with Extreme Kayak Fishing Tournament Series here at Apopano Beach, Florida. Uh, as most of you know, we have the Sailfish Smackdown uh, coming up January 17th and 18th, so uh, you want to be there for that. Uh, I brought with me today Carl. Carl, good to read the comments. Nice to be here. Um, Carl is a offshore kite fisherman and kayak fisherman. So why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself before we get into it. I've been kite fishing for 15 years uh, with my father doing tournaments. And I'm basically going to show you guys what I know. I'm going to explain how to uh, hook up a helium balloon so you can fly the kite in no wind uh, situation. I'll get it uh, yay big, maybe a little bigger, depending on uh, your preferences. Now I'm going to put the uh, kite together. This is a light wind Bob Lewis, which is what you want to use. It's actually an extra light Bob Lewis uh, in light wind conditions. This will be what you want to use with the uh, helium. Basically, put the spars in. You want to connect corner to corner. Make sure everything with the line is all free because uh, that all has uh, something to do with how the kite flies. Um, you want to set your bridle here. There's actually black uh, markering on where the bridle should be set. Uh, if you go further away, uh, it's going to allow for more wind. Closer you are, less wind, lower to the water. Um, in this instance, I would just go halfway because um, uh, you're going to be putting a helium balloon on it. So now, take and connect the helium balloon to the kite with uh, wax floss. You want to take and have someone hold it for you, or you can kneel down. In this case, we're going to have Joe hold it for us. Um, overhand knots is fine. You don't need to do anything fancy. That's all that is. Okay, now you want to take and you want to make sure you're connecting it. If you look at the, if you look at the front of the kite, see how the, the, the picture is proper, that's how you want to connect it. You want to take and put this down here. You wrap the floss around the spurs on the kite a few times. I like to just wrap it uh, one, uh, around each spur at the same time. But you really don't have to do that. Then what you'll, then what you'll do is just tie a couple of overhand knots again. Same deal. Now you got the kite that's going to want to be, you want it to be just like that, a little bit above. And now what we'll do is we'll connect the uh, corners. Joe, you want to hold this again? Yeah. We'll connect the corners with more floss. You want to get it, you pull out a little more than you probably think you need, that way in case you mess up. What I do again, you want to check. Okay, so now we want to go this way. Hold that right there for me. You want to connect it right here to the spur. The kite. Just a couple overhand knots is fine. Go ahead and... You want to hold it down a little bit, Joe? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, right there. Hold the boom right like that. Okay. Now what I'll do is... I'll take the tape. You can use any tape. Uh, waterproof tape is a lot better. Uh, the black stuff, but this stuff, this will work just as fine. Hold it on the ground. Jump. You want to you have it up on the kite a little bit, just like that. Yeah. A little more forward, right there. Now you're going to take and you want to put tape here. A lot of people just exit. It don't matter. You want to X the spot like that. Come up here. Same thing. You want to X it right here. You want to pull it re relatively tight. It doesn't have to be too tight, but uh, tight enough so the balloon's going to stay secure to the kite. Now you obviously want to do this before before you, you launch. launch. Before you launch, you're going to have to do this. Yeah. You don't have the luxury of a big boat where you can 
put it all together. You want to put it before you launch on the beach. And then you want to take and connect it over here to the opposite spur straight across. A couple overhand knots. That's all you need. Now that you got the kite hooked to the line of your kite reel with a snap swivel, your kite's going to go out. You want to let it go out slowly. So bring it over there and then let it go up. So now you're going to have your kite up right there. Go ahead and let it go. So now it's going to be up. And you're going to take the clip here. You're going to come to a clip on your, on your kite line which you're going to connect to, Joe, you want to hold this, yeah. please? You're going to connect your kite rod to it. Um, the way I do it is I put uh, a 15-foot fluorocarbon leader to a um, piece of wire. In the sailfish tournament, you're going to want to use circle hooks um, and bridle your baits. I take and I have a, depending on the wind, you want to use a one to three ounce weight, a clip, a uh, kite float. And I put the, I put the uh, rubber band on the bottom so you can actually reel down to the sailfish. If you have 15 foot below a snap swivel, um, you're going to have to hand line them to the boat uh, to get pictures and stuff to make it a legal catch. So in, in my opinion, in the kayak, you're going to want to reel down to the fish. So I, what I do is I make this the length I want, I'll hook it onto the reel. Remember, no stingers. No circle stingers. Circle hook and clear hooks. leader. So you want to you want to put your clicker. Okay. Now what you'll do is you'll run it. You'll put your clip. You want to connect your clip. You want to have it like this and put it up. You want to take the kite clip, go through it. Okay. Now as you're letting it out, it's going to pull it away. And what I like to do is I would put the circle hook. I would either hook it into your rod or put it on your eye here. As you're letting it out, let it get about 20 feet away, then bridle your bait or hook your bait, and then let the kite go out and throw it out and let it pull it away for you. Okay, and then you can reel it under the kite. And make sure your, your, your clip's set at a, at, a, at, a, at a decent rate, depending on the wind. Obviously, if you have the balloon, um, there's not going to be a lot of wind, so you can probably set it pretty light, that way when the fish pulls free. And, and I would let the sailfish eat from 10 to 15 seconds, then come tight, and, and it should be on there. What if there's a lot of wind? Uh, a lot of wind? Yeah. Um, you're going to want to set your kite clip uh, a little tighter, uh, simply because there's going to be more pull on the bait. Um, the kite's doing this thing. A lot of times the kite doesn't just stay perfect. Uh, especially in a kite, you're not going to have five different kites, so the one you bring is the one you're going to need. So if a storm blows in and it's blowing all over, you just want to have your kite clip a little bit um, a little bit stronger, not much more, but enough to where it's not going to pop out. You got to reel it in and do it all over again. Uh. Uh, kite fishing is really effective. Um, so we brought Carl here today. Carl, good to you know come. Carl's in a good mood. 